I'm a Lego inventor, and today my goal is to design three custom Lego builds and post them on Lego Ideas so they have a chance of becoming actual real Lego sets. And I'm gonna design all three of these in the next 24 hours. At least that's the plan. <laughs> so for my first set idea, I really wanna build something science related. My idea is to build a Lego science lab kit with a working centrifuge, maybe some test tubes with liquid inside, and even a beaker on top of Bunsen burner with a special play feature. Let's start by building some beakers. So I have a bunch of clear pieces here and I'm thinking if we use these half cylinders, we can stack them up in such a way to make a beaker. And then to make the round end on this thing, we'll just use some of these, just add a plate and then this piece to the other side. So we have a test tube like this and we can put this in our test tube stand. Let's build a couple more of those and then see if we can figure out a way to fill them so it'll look more sciencey. If we take colored Lego studs, fill these and make it look like liquid, we're actually gonna need a lot. So if you don't know how Lego Ideas works, basically you can upload a custom Lego build, and then if it gets 10,000 votes, it goes into a review stage where it actually has a chance to become a real Lego set. And so we wanna really work hard to design these as good as we can so that it's kinda of like a finished product. Okay, so now that we have all three of our beakers filled, we can build the stand. It's basically just going to be a gray stand that comes up about this far. So we'll build two legs and on top of the legs, we'll add some of these little round bricks. That way we can attach axles into the Technic pieces. To build the area where the test tubes actually go, I'm just gonna lock together an area with plates. And then I'm just gonna install some of these rubber pieces in here so they're hidden. And then theoretically, this will get pinched between those and there'll be enough friction for it to stay. Take our test tube, push it through, and it stays Kind of, that should be pretty good actually. Now we can slide our test tubes in and the rubber pieces grip them flawlessly, which is great. And we have a test tube holder and now it's holding our chemicals. This is actually so sick and it's not super wobbly. So now we have the first part of our set, the test tubes, which didn't take that long, <laughs> only an hour. Next I'm gonna build a beaker in the Bunsen burner and I have a really easy idea for that. That's gonna make the flame kind of flip up. So for the beaker, I'm just gonna take some of these pieces, which aren't super big like that, and then stack those together. We can just use one of these six by six plates. Have the next one a few of these little slopes and boom. All right, so now we have our beaker. And for the burner that's gonna hold this thing up, we're just gonna build something really simple. I'm gonna start with the base about this size. We're gonna build a small flame with a little lever on the back that pushes the flame up so it looks like it's turning on. That'll be like the play feature because, you know, kids and adults love play features. So we need a flame piece. Right. Too big. Eh, that's too big. Not quite. It could work. My plan is to give this piece here and then have this kind of pop up through there. I think I got it. All we need is to attach this to this. This thing goes on here and this attaches. Man, play features are hard to design, <laughs> which is coming from me. Watch this guys. There we have our play feature. It, it flicks up and it goes back down. So now you can kind of adjust how hot the Bunsen burner is. It's a play feature, it's cool, I love it. We'll attach this to here. And then all we gotta do is simply make something to hold this up. And that's really easy. This thing, as you can see, just sits right up there so you can heat up your whatever. <laughs> so now we have this one. Next up for the science lab, I'm gonna build a centrifuge. And a centrifuge is basically a thing that spins super fast and it uses centrifugal force to actually push particles against the edges of test tubes and separate blood and other liquids. Grab a battery box. We're gonna use a small motor for this one. All we gotta do is plug in the motor to the battery box like this and simply turn it on. And as you can see, the motor spins. So we just wanna take that and make it spin two of these test tubes like this in the centrifugal, basically around itself. We had a couple of these pieces with the Technic holes in them. We can actually make these swing. We just assemble this, add this here. We attach these things, and we'll create a little base for this, obviously, but we have a centrifuge. Pretty cool. And now, as you can see, as this slows down, they fall back down to normal. We'll just need to upgrade the joint. Now we can build this into a base and make it look like an actual centrifuge. We'll attach the motor to this nine degree actuator. Cool. Now we just gotta build up the kind of design around this thing, which is gonna be pretty simple. Just do this maybe, kind of make it work somehow. Okay, so I just finished the centrifuge and as you can see, it works. It just has a little button right here that's attached to the battery box. It just slides out like this and you can see the button simply just presses the green button and it presses it like that. So the first set is done, complete with a centrifuge that actually spins. We got our test tubes and on the Bunsen burner, we have the special play feature, which means next we got to build set number two. We are three hours and 40 minutes in. We still got quite a bit of time, which is good. For the next custom set, I want to build a Lego microscope. It'll have several moving parts and play features and it'll be life-size so it looks like the real thing. I think it'll be pretty cool. For the microscope, I'm going to start with the pieces I know I need to use for scale, which in this case is going to be the little thing you look into like this. So this will be the thing you look into. And then on the other side of the same diameter, we have these pieces. We'll make the lenses using a couple of these pieces. So that can go on the end like that. 
So there we go. Now we have three different lengths of that. Yo, what are the chances we can get this to actually work? Because you can see through this piece and you can see through this piece. It does magnify it. Check it out. This is like a lens shape. If you look through it, it actually magnifies. Okay, that's actually super cool. So we could probably do this. You'll be able to look through this part with the little magnifying glass right here. Then you can just slide in the slides right here instead of down below. It'll be like a play feature. I seriously see this actually becoming a real set. Okay, so I just finished these two pieces and if we just snap them together, I got this piece here. And then this thing sticks right here, rotates like this, which is perfect. And then this will just be attached to but this will be attached to the rest of the arm. So that's the next step is to build out the arm. And then once I get down to the area where we have the rising platform, I'll build a little thing to make it go up and down. Okay, so here's my plan. It's the end of day one. I'm still working on this magnus magnoscope microscope. You can tell I'm really tired. So I'm gonna finish this one in the morning as the second set. And tomorrow we gotta build set number three. I'm not gonna give up. We've been building for five hours, 17 minutes, but we can do this. This thing is gonna be super cool when it's finished. All right, start of day number two. So I'm gonna finish this up and then build a thing to actually make the tray rise and fall so that you can actually focus it. So to do that, if I take a regular gear and put it in with this worm gear, we'll put this through here, we'll attach a 90 degree actuator, and that'll make it so we can put the knob on the side instead of on the top. We attach that like so, just put this in here, just like that. So now it turns the thing. So this will go on the side. And then what we gotta do is just attach this bad boy to an axle and check this out. Turn this, it goes down, turn this this way, it goes up. So now we just need a simple thing to actually push up and down. Yo, that's perfect. Check it out. Now it goes up and down. All right, so now we just need to hide a little bit of mechanics down there. We'll just make this look a little nicer. Okay, so we almost got this thing done, but I decided to add a light. My plan is to take these power functions lights on a tiny battery box like this, turn them on, and these will shine up through the bottom so you can see whatever slide or whatever you put there. Yeah, I'm just gonna put these in here, put this kind of around it, make sure these face in the general direction of up. And for the lens, I'm just gonna use this clear parabolic disc. And there we go, we have a light. In the battery box, we can actually hide right here. All right, so I got the microscope done. I just want to create a custom sticker real quick. So here, as you can see, I printed out a little thing of bacteria or whatever, honestly. So I'm gonna take these two tiles and tape it into place so it'll kind of become a custom sticker. And then when you view it in the slide, you'll be able to see the molecules. All right, and now we have our custom slide. Put it in this little door window thing here. And now the light shining through here should allow us to see. Hey, okay, it works, you can see it. That's so cool. If I shine this here, now you can see into the microscope and it's magnified by like at least 0.1 or something. So this is our microscope. You can see it's complete with a working microscope up top. You can also take the slides and put it under the actual microscope. This thing turns around and you can view it from any angle. My favorite part, if you put this down a little bit, it triggers the light switch, which just presses that little battery box under there, turns that on and off, and you can bring it up to be closer to this thing, which spins around and you can switch from different magnifications. This is such a cool set, honestly. Literally, I would really love to see this become an actual Lego set with like actual slides and stuff, because that would be super cool. This is my favorite so far, which means set number two is done and very sturdy, and we can move on to set number three. It's 10.50 right now, which means we have two hours and 10 minutes left to design the third set. I think we can do it though. All right, so for the third build, I had the idea to build something based on something I've already created, but kind of reinvented. A few weeks ago, I built this Lego hologram display that you put your iPhone in. As you can see, a little Lego hologram reflecting from the 45 degree angle. It's not designed super well. I'm gonna make some improvements and redesign this so you can fit any phone. And this set would have a couple different holograms you could build, and maybe like an app or something you can use on your phone or tablet to display different things. That's the idea. So we're gonna start by building a screen. I'm just gonna kind of go with the same one as last time. I'm gonna use these Lego window pieces because they work super well and they're flat on one side. So we're just together some of these window pieces like so right there that's work and then we got these two technic pieces on the sides here so we can actually hinge it on the thing to build a case for the phone i'm going to kind of reverse engineer this thing which is pretty good but like it has a couple issues one being this snaps off two being you have to take these pieces off in order to put your phone in so i'm going to redesign that All right, so now your phone fits in there like that. And then we just need to build something that pushes against the side of the phone to pinch it into place. Now the phone doesn't move around. You still close it like this. 
except you don't want to do that because then the phone will fall out. So instead of this being something that wraps around your phone, this is something that just sits on the table. And to spice it up, we can even include this in the set. This one actually goes on your iPad and reflects from four different sides. So we can include this as like a three in one. So Lego holograms the set. I'm just gonna add a few more details of this and hopefully we should have it done. All right guys, with about 45 minutes to spare, we have our third Lego set. So with this one, your phone fits in here, like that. It'll work for different sizes of phones because of these little twisty things here. This thing folds like this, and then on the back we got some cool details. The second one, I just added a few little upgrades to our hologram prism. And for the third one, I have this, which is a tiny mini one. You can just set on your phone like this. And then you can watch your hologram. And this one folds, so you can put it in your pocket or whatever. Just like that. So there we have our three Lego set ideas. Now the next step is to actually post them to Lego ideas. All right, so I just finished taking pictures of all the sets, right? So I got pictures of this and I used sort of a background. It doesn't look super nice, but I got the photos up here. And the next thing I need to do is Photoshop them and basically remove the backdrops and stuff. Then all I gotta do is upload it to Lego ideas and we'll be good to go. Okay, so it's like five hours later right now. After a bunch of Photoshopping that is now relevant because it's not working, they keep denying my uploads. Every time I try it, I get the same email. One or more of your images have been determined to be of low quality. I literally took them on the most beautiful backdrop ever. It keeps denying it. I've put it up five times. I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right guys, finally, after like two weeks, I got them all three uploaded and this is what we have. The first one we have is the Lego Science Lab Kit. As you can see, it's on Lego Ideas, it already has 189 supporters. Also wrote a description for each one. This Lego Science Lab Kit will make you feel like a true scientist. This set includes a working centrifuge that spins rapidly when you flip the red switch on the front, a test tube holder with Lego rubber pieces to hold the tubes in place, and a Bunsen burner with a working flame control knob. So we have the Science Lab Kit, and then probably my favorite, the Lego Microscope, which is super cool. It even has a little slide thing and pictures of like what it would look like. Like, this Lego microscope with its revolving lens and raising stage will make any science fan excited. Yeah, Lego microscope is pretty cool. And last but not least, the working Lego holograms did actually get approved, which I did not expect. I totally thought they were gonna turn it down, but they did. So working Lego holograms, that's super cool. I kind of pitched it as like, most people have phones already, so you could put this on top and then just use like a Lego app or a QR code. If you want to see any of these as a Lego set, genuinely, not with like me saying, hey, go support that. Click the second link down in the description. All you gotta do is create a free account on Lego ideas, and then you can just vote for them. But that's it guys, we designed three Lego sets in 24 hours. Don't forget to check out this video's sponsor, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store, for your Lego brick needs. You can check out their store by clicking the first link down in the description or this button right here on screen. See ya!